The latest tech news right here and right now on Get The Daily. Hey everyone, I'm Dana Ward from GetTheDaily.com with your tech update. Apple CEO Steve Jobs finally unveiled the long-rumored iPhone 3G, the new version of the company's popular handheld device, at the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco this week. The new iPhone will include several new features and will run much faster than the original model, which connected to the internet through AT&T's Edge network. But most interestingly to people considering the purchase of an iPhone is the price. The iPhone 3G will retail at $199 or at half the cost of the original model. Apple's announcement proves they are committed to getting iPhones in the hands of users and they dropped the price of the hot device in the face of the weakening economy in hopes of selling as many as 10 million units by the end of the year. The new iPhone will be available on July 11th. And AT&T is the reason Apple could drop the price of the phone. The company, which still has exclusive North American rights to the iPhone, is subsidizing $200 rebates on the device, which will bring the cost of the 3G model down to the $199 price tag. As the exclusive carrier of the iPhone, AT&T expects to make a bundle selling service plans for the new model. Advertisers have already committed $9.2 million in upfront advertising for the 2008 through 2009 TV season, as the major networks are increasingly relying on selling most of their ad time before the season starts and hoping to fill in any unsold time later on. Analysts believe this could leave a hole in the ad market, especially with their prediction that ad prices will probably increase again next season. The CEO of Time Warner has denied rumors that the company is looking to buy NBC, but he did say they would consider making a deal if the network became available. Executives at NBCU have also been denying reports of the Time Warner acquisition. I'm Dana Ward from GetTheDaily.com reminding you to keep checking in for the latest in tech news.